Buying and selling cards are the lifeblood and are one of the most appealing aspects of any physical trading card game. But what would happen if players only had an incredibly limited selection of cards to buy from? In this series, both Ruxin34 and myself will be bidding on sealed product from all throughout Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will have a new selection of product for us to bid on, build decks, and play a best two out of three. However, the kicker is that the items up for grabs will only be revealed to us us one at a time. You've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh! played like this before, because this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the auction series. If you missed the other two episodes, the series is now tied at one to one, but it's going to be another fun time here because we are going to be bidding on some of the oldest Yu-Gi-Oh sets ever printed. Ruxin, how are you feeling, buddy? How are you feeling about the first few episodes so far? Tell me your thoughts. I was feeling incredible after episode one. Episode two kind of brought me back down to earth, reminding me I don't know how to duel. So episode three. <laughs> we're, that makes two of us, buddy. We're changing us. the narrative here. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and dive right in. Item number one. Let's see what we're starting with. Ooh. Ooh. 15 packs of Labyrinth of Nightmare. That's a lot. That's that's a, yeah. That's over half a box. And Labyrinth of Nightmare, I don't remember what we set for oldest Yu-Gi-Oh sets, but I mean, Labyrinth of Nightmare is a pretty decent one. There's some good cards in there. Yeah, I mean, that might be one of the best sets we see because it, it's in 2003, barely. So, I mean, if we open Just a barely. bunch of 2002 stuff, then Labyrinth of Nightmare might be, it might be the best set. So they might go the newest set. So this could be really good with 15 full packs. 15 full packs could be some uh, there could be some duds though that's always the downside <laughs> with packs true. okay you know what i'm gonna throw up a bid uh we're gonna see we're gonna see what we're at and you know if you got one too buddy we can go ahead and go for it okay i man what is in life of the nightmare oh my goodness. there's some there's some good there's some good stuff but there's also a lot of you know mediocre stuff yeah. but it's all relative right it's real we don't know what else is in the remaining nine slots of the auctions yeah. so Okay. It could be the best. It could just be all downhill from here, buddy. Who knows? <laughs> okay, uh, I think I got one. I'm ready. Okay, I'll count us down in three, two, one, go. Wow! Oh. 16,000! 8,000? You must hate this set. I think it's I think it's fine. I think it's okay. I don't know if it's worth 16,000, oh, but it, I mean 15 packs also. You got to remember. Do you remember how much money we had last time? We had 40,000. We, we do at the always end. seem to have a lot of money left. So it looks yeah. like you're just being more aggressive in the bidding, which is fine. That's 100% yeah. fine. I, I'm All gonna, right. I'm starting off with something for sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> Maybe it'll pay off. Let's go ahead and see item number 2. Ooh. Ooh. 24 we uh we had some we had a taste of this in a previous episode where i got to open a lot of tournament pack ones yeah. and we know that the chances of pulling some of these cards are likely but tp2 i don't know that's what? i can't remember i i know morphing jars in here but that's the big one that's the uh, big one and it's like is is paying a lot for a morphing jar worth it you know yeah. i don't know i don't know, I don't know, if know if it is or not this is uh yeah it's an interesting one and 24 okay. It's only 72 cards, you know, the three card packs. So it's not a lot. I mean, it's enough to build a deck technically, but it'd there, be a very bad deck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. OK, I got a bid. I got oh, a bid. It's, OK, I'm going to go with that. OK, let's go. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh just oh, edged oh, him oh, out. Oh, oh man. My. So for people who aren't familiar with the series, if Ruxin and I tie on the bid, we actually both get the items. So just barely knocked him out on that one. And I'm going to be getting those I, TP2 packs. I edited my bid from eight to five right there. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm happy or sad about this. <laughs> I always try to avoid like the even, the, the round numbers, like in fives yeah. and tens, because I feel like that's like what the brain naturally wants to do. Right. And in this case, I guess it paid off. But pay we off. still got eight more items, buddy. Item number three. Let's see it. Ooh. Uh, 
Ooh. Only nine, though. Not not a lot here. Only nine. But a lot right. Of and so potential here. There is a lot of potential because. I think if you were to compare this to Labyrinth of Nightmare, there may be a higher overall quality of like right. good cards that could come up. But I think the bad cards are significantly worse in this yeah. set than they are in uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare. So it's, yeah. a, it's a weird divergence here. Yeah, I, it's kind of a weird one, too, because a lot of the good cards are the uh, the floaters or whatever. And if you don't get multiple, then it's kind of weird. Uh, right, and with only exactly. nine packs, you don't really have a chance to get very many of them. So it's that's it's a weird one that you could pull some crazy <sighs> hand destruction though. So I mean, okay, I gotta I mm, oh man, this is tough. This is I, I okay. I I got a bid. I, I'm not like super confident in it, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. I do as well. Let's go. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I looks like I overbid for this one a little bit. I honestly thought you were going to go a little bit higher, so that's why I uh, went higher. I think but... your bid was right. I just I kind of decided I didn't want these. I I was just going to let fair. you have these. I would take them for four, but <laughs> <laughs> I think my position was I still have the cash advantage in this case, so I felt right. pretty confident with that. And like there's the potential for this these packs to be broken. So yeah. I figured it was worth trying for a little bit, but I wanted to maintain my cash advantage. I might be so. banging my head against the wall after this one if you start we'll delinquent see, though. We'll see. me. <laughs> <laughs> I go like delinquent duo snatch deal <laughs> confiscation and you're just crying. But anyway, <laughs> item number four. Let's see what we got next. Um. Okay. Did these have real Yu-Gi-Oh cards? <laughs> I honestly don't remember. So... What? Oh my I thought God. these what, had all like the like not fake, but like the different kind of cards. But I must be thinking of like uh, I'm thinking of something else. I think what is in this? Oh, it's a vi oh, it's a video game. I was thinking of uh, whatever the other. Were you game thinking is. of the actual like dungeon dice monster card? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I was like, I think yes. they're gray or something. I I love Dungeon Dice Monsters. I don't know if you know that. So like, I know what you're talking about. So it's yeah. funny that you thought that. But that's exactly what I, I thought it was. Oh my god, I don't even remember what the promos are from this game. Me either. I usually do so, know these. But so I we're don't. kind of, we're both flying blind here. This is interesting because like these could Three. be like extremely good yeah. and maybe we don't know it because this guarantees us a play set of the promos from yeah, these, this it, product. If there's if there's one good promo and you get a play set of it, this is like a really good buy because. Oh man. I mean, oh gosh. Everyone in the everyone watching this right now in the comments is going to be like, what are you doing? These cards are insane or How something like that. There's a breaker in here. Oh, what were the promos? Oh, my God. OK, I, I we got to bid something. All right. We got to bid something. OK, let's let's do I don't this. know if I want to. <sighs> you okay, gotta, you gotta OK, OK, it. I got I I got a bid. OK, I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Wow. OK. <laughs> So you just you didn't want to you didn't even want to try for it because you don't even know because I, I have no idea. I have no idea. And last time I got promos, I got burned. <laughs> and, you know, that is true. I mean, to be fair, there are some promos that are crazy, right? I mean, right. there are games that have just absolutely game breaking promos. So I figure maybe we just don't remember what they are or right. they're just awful. Uh, yeah. I, it's probably the latter. Let's I, be honest. So. I'm honestly <laughs> thinking they're good. Because it's a well, playset, it just feels like that would be good. Now, that, that's now the that thing, I though. Like we don't know if we're just getting completely fucked with. <laughs> 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 All uh, right, let's see the let's see the next item. Let's see. Oh come on! <laughs> Fifteen more packs of Labyrinth of Nightmare. Oh, right, we're I'm going, going back in. in. I'm getting all the Labyrinth. <laughs> I mean, that could be a strategy, right? You could try to ice me out and just oh. not let me get LON because, again, we know there's good cards in LON. There are some good cards, but man, do I want 30 packs? That's what we're about to find out, I guess. I mean, you could just build an entire sealed Labyrinth of Nightmare deck at this point. Yeah, I mean, honestly. Oh, okay. Okay, um, okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, go for, I'll go for something here. I'll go for something. Okay. We still have five more items, too, we so do. we do have to remember that. All right, I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Wow, he same. really wants the pack. <laughs> no, you, you're not supposed to bid 8K again. You're supposed to up it to like 11. I, I mean, <laughs> I kind of felt that 
I felt pretty confident. If you want to take the LON packs, like be my guest, but I'm holding out, I guess. I feel I, like you I, know more about LON than me. You've done six episodes with LON already, so. I've done several <laughs> series with Labyrinth of Nightmare, so I do yeah. know the set pretty well, and I also kind of remember it from childhood, but yeah. uh, I, I think the set's fine. I don't know if yeah. it's, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe look, like, because again, we don't know what else we're getting. The Labyrinth of Nightmare packs could be the top end. Look, for just all be I know. ready for a triple magic cylinder to your face. Just be ready that, for it. You know, if that <laughs> happens, I deserve it at this point. Uh, let's see the next item, though. Item number six. Oh, oh the starter decks. We're back. Okay. The starter decks have made a return. Wow. Mm. Now, these have been... These have been iffy, I would say. I would say they're very good, but also, like, it contextually very... Could also not be that good, right? Okay. You say that, but you won last time with this deck. So. I did, but I lost <laughs> the first episode. That's true. Uh, That's true. So, and I had starter decks, I believe, in both of those. Right. So, okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, I've hmm. I've got a bid. I've got a bid. I do as well. Okay, you ready, buddy? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Wow. Let's go. Okay. Well, he's well, he's big spender over here. Big, big spender big over spender. here. Got to spend it sometime. I mean, that's pretty good, though. At least you've got all these Labyrinth of Nightmare packs. You've yeah. got the starter deck Kaiba secured now. Using the money to your advantage, uh, but now I almost have double your cash, <laughs> yeah. so that's something yeah, you gotta worry not about. Not looking too good on the cash front, but we'll take but it. But it's okay. We usually end up with a bunch of money left over anyway, right. so if you're gonna get something good for it, might as well. All right, item number seven. Let's see it. Hmm. Seven Metal Raiders packs for item number seven. That's huh. fitting. Interesting. Metal Raiders has just... I would say maybe some of the highest quality commons yeah. we could get. Uh, it also just has the highest quality, like everything. Metal Raiders is actually just a cracked set. Yeah, Metal Raiders is very good. This is, in seven packs, I mean, you just pull like Jirai Gumo and some stuff like that. You're That's pretty good. It's so. only 11, or sorry, it's only seven packs though. Yeah, so you're really banking <sighs> on the commons. You're not going to pull a Mirror Force, probably. I say that, but. You, know. uh, you say that, yeah, but it's you, know, a, you, you know. never know. Yeah, you that's never true. Know. That's true. You never know. Okay, I. you know what? I got a bid. I got a bid. Okay, seven packs. Oh, my goodness. That's tricky. That's tricky. That's weird. Okay, one second. Let me think about this. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's go ahead and do it in three, two, one, go. Oh, 13. All right. I Talk went 13k wonder. because I have such a huge money advantage uh -huh. on you that I can afford to go high yeah. on these types of things. At and this so, point, if you want it, you you got to got to pay. I mean, you got plenty of money for it. Right. I mean, I do have to still pay enough to make sure you don't get it. Right. But, you know, you paid 7k. Like that's still a pretty decent amount. Yeah, I but, thought 1k each. But then I was kind of thinking, oh, going off your last bids, but I didn't think about you have so much more money. There's no reason to go. Right. Exactly. That. Yeah. And that's what I love about this series. That whole <laughs> dynamic just it makes changes things so every like just every single bid, like each different one. Yeah. It's different. And so it's cool. All right. We still have a lot of money to work with and there's only three items left. So I think these last three are going to get exciting. So let's see item number eight. Oh, hmm. these were these were pretty GP decent last time. Three, only ten though. It's only ten. It is only ten. This is a thinker. This is a thinker. This one's definitely interesting. There are two left. The, the cards in here, are, they're fine. I would say. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, there's some good ones, but then there's a ton of duds. So yeah, there's a ton of duds. And there's only yeah. thirty total cards in this. So I mean, yeah, most of them are duds. It's not that great. Like, let's be honest, you're maybe going to pull a couple good playable cards out of here. Unless you get extraordinarily lucky. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, this is this is hard. I mean, we have a lot of money to work with, but... Ah, uh, this is... Oh, this is tough. <sighs> this is tough. This is you tough. you got a huge money advantage on me. I do. Okay. I do. Uh, All right. You know what? All right. All right. I, I, I got a bid. I okay. got a bid. I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. yes! <laughs> Okay, you know what? You can have it for that. That's well deserved. I, I well mean, played. I well was played. honestly like, is seven thousand worth potential pot of greeds? Because that's the only thing I remember being good out of here. <laughs> so right. I mean, it that matters. That matters. Yeah. But we'll we don't know what the last two items you are. Have so sixty-seven I, grand left. For the last I have a lot. If I want to go crazy, I could bid like twenty-five <laughs> grand for this next item, and you know, yeah, it could be interesting. Oh, so let's could. see item nine. Let's see item nine. Oh, there's another game. Okay. All right. So it's one 2002 collector tin with a dark magician. 
and a Reshef of Destruction. Yeah. Okay. Again, I... Ugh, promos, I, rem- I remember these promos. I do remember okay. these promos. Um, I'll give you a hint. They're not that good. Um. I didn't... F- <laughs> I mean... I don't feel like they were because usually the, like I feel like we know what they are. I'm pretty sure it's the Dark Magician Knight and then like the Knight spell. And oh, and, some, the, and, and the, the, the Sage's trap, Stone. There though that I can't remember. Is there a trap? If there's a trap, maybe that's good, but I don't remember what it is. Hmm. But I know that those two are not great, obviously. You can and play like, the with tin, the Dark Magician, so. The tin itself is fine because 2002 tin is what? Two LOB, two Metal Raiders and a Magic Ruler pack? Yeah. Okay, so that's like, eh, that's like fine. It's yeah, five it packs, could be good, could be a dud, probably a dud to be honest. But and the Dark Magician's huh. not very good, so yeah. Okay, Man, this is this is tough. This is tough. Okay, uh, I I got a bid. I got a bid. Okay, I'm ready. All right, in three, two, one, go. Wow, <laughs> you just went for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if you bid 24 like you just did and I bid less, then you get both of the last two. So I had to go all in because I had no chance of getting the last one because to, I guess. But to be fair, you could have also bid 24 like I did. And you could have also gotten this as oh, well. I should have tied. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should have so, tied. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I guess it's better that you get it and, and you I don't. don't. Yeah. yeah but, so maybe well, that's no, a way yeah, to look I at tied, it. It actually been worse because then you just would have won the last one anyway. So I, that's yeah, fair. I, I think that's I fair. had to go all in. It, like if you made a mistake and made the wrong bid, but you made like the perfect bid. So if I had bid less, you still have more money than me. Right. And then you right. win the last one. It's so tricky. I had to go all in. I didn't like the product that much, to be honest, but it's this or nothing. So I went in. Essentially, yeah, because I mean, because I've got the money advantage on you here. Yeah, I think it's you're stuck in a rock in a hard place. But yeah. OK, I, to be fair, the last item could be awful. I mean, I could have I should have maybe overbid for this Come because on, depending promos. on what item 10 is. Let's see. Item 10, baby. Let's go. What do we got? What do we get? Oh, oh let's no! go! Oh, oh, that's so good! Oh, I am officially doomed. I don't think you're officially doomed. You have 30 <laughs> Labyrinth of Nightmare packs. You did get the starter deck Kaiba, which I think I probably should have gone a bit more on. I think yeah, I was a bit more conservative. I honestly but, think that we under... Because th- those starter decks turned out to be really strong in this, this yeah. auction because of what yeah. we got. Um, I agree, hundred percent. If you but didn't get I a guess, starter deck, I would feel a lot better right now. Yeah, but. that's where I was a bit nervous. I was like, if this isn't a starter deck, I may not be in the best of shape here. But yeah. I think that definitely came in clutch for me. So oh, okay, yeah. uh, we got our cards. We've got some cracking to do. I'm so excited. Well, I managed to lose with the best two chaos monsters, maybe the best two monsters in the game at the time. Huh. All right, back to the drawing board. Let's see if we can uh, potentially take the series back. We've got, I think, 45 packs here to open, and we've got our starter deck, Kaiba. Let's see what we can get. First pack, we've got a Fusion Gate and a St. Joe. Are we about to whip out the Fusions? Maybe. Who knows? Okay, Akibio is pretty good. That's It's not bad. We will see what he has, but it's a pretty good removal spell. As for the rest of the pack, okay, uh, are we going back to stall? Only one monster can attack per during each battle phase? It seems like that might be a decent card. Oh yeah, this is, oh, it was using the alt artwork. That's why I didn't recognize it, but this is a pretty good removal spell. You do have to miss a draw phase though, so it's kind of iffy, but we'll probably end up playing this. Hysteric Fairy is an 1800 beater. It's not bad, but the, the effect is kind of worthless, but maybe it would come up, who knows? We have uh, another Hysteric Fairy, so it's another 1800. That's not bad, another St. Joan. Unfriendly Amazon, I don't think is very good. Vengeful Bog Spirit. So if we play this with the Dark Door, that could get really annoying. And honestly, we've only won by using annoying decks. We used a regular deck, strong deck, and we lost. So maybe maybe this is the strategy. Mask of Weakness, that's one we're looking for. Fairy Box, yeah, I think we have to go stall strategy here. Fairy Box, Dark Door, whatever that other card was called. Throw out an Akibio Drachmord. Honestly, that would be extremely annoying. I got to think about, does he maybe have a heavy storm or something like that? Because that could just end our end our game, honestly. Wow, you guys, that was a very intense auction. And looking at it, I would say Phil and I got a pretty even split on everything. I think he got more cards to open, but that doesn't necessarily mean the quality of them is better. We're going to have to see. So I want to start off with starter deck Joey, because this is essentially a deck. And then we're basically just going to build on top of this by removing the bad cards and putting in the better cards that we pull from our pack. So looking at this, we 
we've got some decent cards in here. There's some 2K Defenders, 7 Colored Fishes, 1800, as well as Sky Scout, and Gear Free the Iron Knight, so that's pretty nice. Time Wizard's actually removal. It's not the best, but it's okay. Magician of Faith and Sangen are crazy. White Magical Hat, the Kingslayer himself, is here to back me up. Penguin Soldier's a very good card in here, being able to bounce monsters back to the opponent's hand. Malevolent Nuzzler, Dark Hole, Fisher, Change of Heart, Block Attack, Giant True Nade, Monster Reborn. The list goes on, right? Shield and Swords, Scapegoat, Trap Hole, Waboku, Ultimate Offering, Seven Tools. This is a fantastic start to any deck, and I'm very happy that we managed to get this. It was a bit lucky because it was the last thing we could have gotten, but nonetheless, here we are. Another fairy box that's it's not bad. It's a third Hysteric Fairy. Honestly, pretty good. 2K Defenders and Earthbound Spirits. Ooh, Zombira. I forgot. That's a 2100. There's no ill effects until you destroy a monster, so it's actually pretty dang good. And then Mask of Restrict. Neither player contribute cards. That might be decent in this because you might want to tribute some cards. The problem with my stall strategy is I'm not sure what our win condition is because we don't have like Diffusion Wave Motion or anything. So I'll have to think about that. Hmm, we have Spirit Message I, even though it has an E on it because it's the uh, OCG version. Uh, why? What's up with Destroy by that and like being returned? It's so bad. Soul of Purity and Light's cool because you can special summon it, so maybe it's decent, but it is only 2k and you have to remove two light monsters, so maybe for on a lot of lights we throw it in, but I don't know. It's not too good. Another Soul of Purity and Light, okay. Bait Doll. What? Bait Doll's okay, I think. Man. What a weird text. Target one set card in the spell and trap zone. Reveal that target. Force its activation if it's a trap card. Then negate its effect if the activation timing is incorrect. And if you do, destroy it. That is, that's a mouthful. So this is good for getting rid of traps, but it doesn't do anything to spell. So maybe this is worth playing if we go a little bit more aggro. We don't want to run into his mirror force that he pulls from his Metal Raiders packs or something like that. Another Zombira. That's very good. That's very good. There's another Fusion Gate. Two Fairy Box in one pack. Uh, that's weird. Another Bait Doll. That's really good. So we now have three fairy box we're definitely playing those no matter what they're super annoying so uh, we'll probably do it another mask of weakness there's the mass beast we i don't have we gotten the ritual spell yet i don't know if we have here is the dancing fairy maybe i was thinking of this if this one's in defense position you gain a thousand life points this one has a thousand though instead of zero this seems like a much better version maybe we play this Offerings to the Doomed, and we're getting a lot of copies of everything we kind of want, so this is not terrible. Here's a burn card, but you have to remove cards from play, so I don't know if we have a way to do that or not. We'll have to look around. There probably is a way. Another Masked Beast. If we get the ritual, we're going to play it. I mean, it's it's 3,200. It's not even that hard to summon, so I think maybe we do that. There's an Akibio Dragmart. Is that number two? We now have three Earthbound Spirits. We've gotten almost everything we want, so we can't complain. Maybe we play Final. There's the Curse of the Mass Beast. Okay, we have to play the Mass Beast, right? I mean, I know he's vanilla. He has no effect, but 3,200 in this format seems decent, and it's a special summon, so maybe we do it. The Dark Door, another copy, another Curse of the Mass Beast. Oh my gosh, are we about to actually play this? Oh, there's another Curse of the Mass Beast. So we now have three of those, two Mass Beasts, which is an Ultra Rare, which is crazy. Another Swordsman of Landstar. Okay, that is, that's terrible, so it uh, doesn't mean anything. Eh, that's our first bad one in a while, actually. We haven't had a bad pack in quite a while. There's a couple of fusions we can consider. St. Joan and Humanoid Worm Drake. I think I can get Mass Beast out er easier, so... Oh, and Magic Cylinder! I just saw it! Okay, so we finally got a Seeker Rare, which is awesome. And it's probably the better one in this case. Burn. If we're playing Burn, Magic Cylinder is super good. If we could pull a second one, I know it's a lot to ask. Okay, Bait Doll, another Hysteric Fairy, we have that. Dancing Fairy, I think we have a play set now. You know what Carter just thought of? Fire Princess. If we pull a Fire Princess, it's a super, that'd be huge. Ask can you shall receive the next pack. We got a Fire Princess. Oh my goodness. And a third Dark Door. Each time you gain life points, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Is there any way to gain life points? Kind of forgot the effect here. I mean, this is the way to burn, but how do we gain life points in the stack? I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay, we have another offerings. That's at least three. That's pretty strong. We cannot complain about that. Another Zombira. Is that two or three? I can't remember. That's pretty strong. Oh, Dark Lord Marie. Once per turn during your standby phase, you gain 200 life points. The card must be in the grave to activate and resolve this effect do we only have one of this we need three of this because if we have dark lord marie in the graveyard if we have three of them in the graveyard 
We have Fire Prince also on the field. That does 1,500 damage in one turn. I think that's how that works. I think it's, sep yeah, separate activations. That's the play. That's how you do it. So next, we're going to go ahead and move on to our pack. So thank you to the pack opening website because they actually implemented a draft mode that now combines all of our pack openings into one segment. So this is going to make it a lot easier for us to organize these packs. So thank you again for this. We're going to be starting with Magic Ruler. I believe it goes alphabetically once you do this. So nine packs of Magic Ruler as you can see down here, let's flip over our first cards here. Cyber Jar is a very good pull, and this is definitely going to make its way into the main deck. Also got a Toon World. This would have been very funny if we got a starter deck Pegasus, but you know, that's just not going to be happening. Next pack. Let's see if we get anything good. Giant Rat may be playable. This is a way that we can recruit monsters onto our field if it's killed in battle, which is very likely to happen. Also, Gravekeeper Servant, Chain Energy, Chorus of Sanctuary. These are some cards we've seen in Sealed before. They're like barely playable. We'll see. Oh, Black Pendant is a very, very strong card. It's an equip spell, and equip spells in these limited formats like this can just be a very big game changer. Also, Tailor of the Fickle's nice as well. This can actually allow us to re-equip cards, and there are some equip cards in the format, so we may side deck this at the very least. Oh, and a giant true nade. There's so many other just better supers we could have gotten. We already have a giant true nade from the starter deck, Joey. So I'm not too bent out of shape about this, but like this could have been like a confiscation or something like that. So it's okay. I'm happy to see it. It's going to make its way in. We've got some other decent cards in here, like Guardian of the Throne Room as well. So not bad. Snatch Steel! Snatch Steel! The card is loyal! Oh my god, Phil is gonna have a heart attack when he sees that I pulled this. This is why I bid a decent amount for these packs, because while the common cards may not be the best, some of the supers and ultras in here are just game-breaking, and so I wanted to place my bet on that, and it looks like we're being rewarded with one of the most broken cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! I can't believe we got it. Horn of the Unicorn's not bad either. This has the potential to go poorly because it can actually get sent back to the the top of our deck, but honestly, we'll take it. A second Cyber Jar? Wow, that's actually really strong because this is another board wipe, and while it adds an element of chaos to the game, I'm super happy to see it because this can actually just be a very, very good card. Mother Grizzly's not bad, it's another recruiter. Uh, we actually are playing Island Turtle, which I think is water, so if that's the case, getting to a 2k defender isn't terrible. And this is going to wrap up our Magic Ruler pack, so let's see what we get for pack number nine. Flying Kamakiri, it's another recruiter. It's one of the more subpar ones. We'll have to see if it can make its way in. Not that bad, but let's go ahead and get into Metal Raiders. Offerings, Fairy Box. We, we, we have so many packs. We've gotten, like, play sets of the commons, which is good. We can't complain. Two Akibio. Okay, we definitely have three now. That's really good. As long as this card remains face up on your side of the field, increase your life points by 800 points during each of your standby phases. Another way, I think we have to go burn stall. I think we have to do it. Okay, this is shaping up. We got five more packs. Can we pull something crazy? Defusion, it wants us to play fusion so badly. Defusion, it's just not that good. I mean, it's good if you can get it off, but it's probably not gonna happen. Four more packs. Kibio, we've got no, we've definitely got a place that I think we have a place that a mask of weakness too. So I, I don't think we're going full out stall. I think we're gonna have some battle traps and stuff too, so that'll be pretty strong. Oh! Oh, torrential that changes it all oh this is coming together these ella win packs might be pretty good and then a cure mermaid which will definitely help with our burn strategy if we go that route one more pack of labyrinth of nightmare let's see humanoid another curse of the mass beast we already have that we have three fusion gates all right so now we've got seven packs of metal raiders definitely a few less than the magic ruler packs and i did pay a premium for these but again in the common and rare slot there are a lot of very good cards from Metal Raiders. So let's flip them up and see what we get. Oh, this is not what I wanted to see. <laughs> okay, okay uh, that's pretty good. We got a Barrel Dragon. This is a very high investment card, but this is a way to remove stuff off of Ruxin's field. So maybe we'll play this. Also a Stim Pack and a Ryukushin powered. Not bad. Oh. A second barrel dragon? This could have been a mirror force. This could have been like solemn judgment. There's so many just powerful cards this could have been. I guess we're on barrel dragons though. I guess because we got the Joey starter deck, it wanted us to have an element of bandit Keith. Uh, other good cards, blue winged crown, prevent rat, share the pain. Those are not bad. Oh, Witch of the Black Forest. This is the type of card I wanted to get out of this set. Very strong card, allows us to search our deck for nearly anything. Very happy to see it. Magician of Faith, another card I was very excited for. This actually gives us two because we already have one in the starter deck, Joey, and we have Monster Reborn as well. So I think we will play that Barrel Dragon because if we can get that into the graveyard and Monster Reborn it, it is going to get nasty. 
and a third Magician of Faith. This is exactly why I wanted these Metal Raiders packs. These cards are so strong. Almost every rare we've gotten has just been so worth it. Super happy to see it. Garnisi Elephantis is cool, but I think we've got some better tribute monsters. And for our last pack, ladies and gentlemen, of Metal Raiders, can we end on something great? You know, Robin Goblin isn't that bad. This card actually has the potential to just start shredding Ruxin's hand, so maybe we will play this. Block attack is also technically removal, so we'll take it. All right, so we now just have packs of Tournament Pack 2, and we also still have one last thing to open after that, so don't go anywhere. Now we have two Metal Raiders packs because the 2002 10s had two LB, two Metal Raiders, one Magic Cooler. Let's see if they can be as good, good to us as the MRL. That was insane. We got Gate Guardian! And not only that, we got a Mask of Darkness, which is really good because if we're playing all these good traps and he heavy storms, I mean, and he doesn't finish us off there, which he probably will, uh, we can get back some of our traps. I think that might be worth playing. Second and last pack. Okay, not the best pack, but the first pack did give us a tremendous fire and a Gate Guardian. So uh, can't complain there. Two LOB packs. Uh, what can we want? Dark Hole, Raigeki. Is there any burn cards in here? I don't think so. Monster Reborn, stuff like that. Uh, Armed Ninja is not bad. We got a Hollow Celtic Guardian. I mean, it's worth $3.76. So this Armed Ninja could be okay for getting back some of our annoying stall cards. Maybe we'll play it. We'll see. Second pack. Oh, we can gain life points with Red Medicine. So, uh, okay, not the best LV packs. All right, so we've got 24 packs of Tournament Pack 2 to go through. I actually don't remember what is in here aside from Morphing Jar, and that comes in at Ultra, so I'm not even expecting we're going to get it. We'll have to see, though. I think there could be a couple cards that are decent, and at least we can maybe upgrade some of the bad cards from the Joey deck so let's go ahead and flip up the first pack see what we get like two-headed king rex this is a 1600 beater so like i'm okay with this oh the morphing jar the second pack <laughs> Holy shit, that's so unlikely to happen, but I'm very happy to see it. Morphing Jar is 100% going in. We have so many jars that are just going to throw this game into a complete state of just absolute just chaos. I can't wait. So this is interesting. We actually pulled the Super Rare Dragon Seeker, and the reason I say it's interesting is because Ruxin actually got a starter deck Kaiba, and he may play the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Dragon Seeker could be a way to actually technically remove Blue Eyes from the field. I don't know if it's worth it. We may side deck this though, and then if we see the Blue Eyes, we may bring it in. We pulled a ritual spell, Novox's Prayer, which can summon Skull Guardian, but I forget what Skull Guardian's stats are. I guess if Skull Guardian's good enough, maybe we could run it, but I don't know. That seems like a bit high investment. We'll have to see if we actually get the Skull Guardian. Okay, there's the Skull Guardian. I'm curious to see what the stats are on this. Ah, uh, 2050 attack. That's so disappointing. That's not worth it. So I was actually looking at something interesting. We pulled a Mystical Sheep number one, which actually acts as a fusion substitute for any fusion summon. And the starter deck Joey does actually come with a thousand dragon. We're gonna play Time Wizard anyway, because it is technically a board wipe. We would have to play Baby Dragon, but we also technically wouldn't have to, because we could just play Mystical Sheep number one in its place and i don't know is that worth it like we have polymerization in the deck as well that gives us a 2400 monster maybe it's something to consider finally we have tournament pack three we're really just hoping for pot of greed here to be honest so let's see dark elf it's not terrible we just need pot of greed it's just a common there it is and another dark elf two dark elf two pot of greed we got a final flame. Honestly, we might play it. Another pot of greed, another dark elf. Three dark elf, a lot of dark elf. Dragon capture jar if we want to get crazy. Another final flame. There's the there's the Quagar. There he is. Pretty popular right now. It's gonna come to the last pack. Come on. Oh, it didn't give it to us. Okay, all right. I think we have the makings of a very annoying deck. I don't know if it's gonna be good but I know we can annoy Alex with it. All right, you guys, so only a few packs left for Tournament Pack 2. It's actually been okay. We've gotten a lot of 1,600 beaters, which are kind of decent. I'm a little bit worried because Labyrinth of Nightmare has some 1,800 beaters in the form of Hysteric Fairy, so maybe I should have been more aggressive trying to steal those packs out. Uh, Crawling Dragon number two is another one of the 1,600 beaters. I'm pretty sure I have play sets of this and Two-Headed King Rex, so that's not terrible, I guess. And let's flip up the last pack and see. Nothing too crazy. But we do have one last thing, and that is the promos for the Dungeon Dice Monsters video game. Now, to be fair, I'm actually kind of surprised I don't know what these promos are because I actually really love this game, and so I figured this would be something that I know, but it isn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and look this up here. Let's see what they are. If you guys don't know, we're gonna find out together where are the promos. Let's see, promotional cards, here we go. The promotional cards are... 
Uh, three. <laughs> Wait, is this the Japanese version? Wait, this is the Japanese version. Wait, hold on. This isn't the English one. Hold on. Wait, wait. We need to find the English one. I was about to say, we really just got three copies of Dark Magician Girl? No, that's not right. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so upon further examination, I guess that the English version of Dungeon Dice Monsters came with no promos, which would make sense as to why both Ruxin and I didn't know what they were, and they came exclusively in Japan and they are all in fact Dark Magician Girl. I found a video of someone actually showing them off. Here they are if you've never seen these before. I've never seen these in my life, so this is new to me. So this is the pink Dark Magician Girl. We also have the green Dark Magician Girl right here, and it's neat that it's like prismatic secret foiling on it, I guess. And then we also have, I think, the blue one, which he's about to show here. Yeah, so that's the blue one. So I guess these were the promos for Dungeon Dice Monsters in Japan, and I guess this is what I bid all that money on. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I guess I have nine Dark Magician Girls. Fantastic. Uh, am I going to play any of them? Probably not, but we got a lot of deck building to do, so let's get to it. So I was considering burn the whole time. You guys heard me talking about it in the opening, and I'm just looking through here, and there's just not enough burn cards. Like, there's a lot of stall cards, but there's no way to actually win with them. So we have, like, a somewhat of a burn strategy, and then we also have some big guys, and it's not good. It's just not good, but there was no other strategy other than going full in on fusions or rituals. Even the fusions like St. Joan here, I only have one Dark Lord Marie. Out of all those packs, I got one Dark Lord Marie. So we'd almost never be able to summon that. Humanoid is only 2200. I mean, so fusions are not an option. Rituals, we do have the curse. We have the curse of the mass beast and the mass beast. I have them in the side deck because we're considering it. But this is what we have. Three Zombira. I mean, he's super strong. 2100. It doesn't have a downside until you destroy something. So it's pretty good. It's not a bad card for sure. Dark Lord or Dark Elf is very good as well. We do have to pay life points to attack. So it's kind of like attack position defender almost unless we need to attack then we have the hysteric fairy 1800 it does have the tribute two monsters on your side of the field to increase life points which that could come up with our one fire princess so we'll see that's why i played this over the lodge in and some other 1800 so this is kind of the best 1800 just for that very niche interaction dark lord marie unfortunately we only got one if this we had three this would be great because in the graveyard we'd add gain life points if we got our fire princess out it'd do damage we only have one so we're still gonna play it though the Dancing Fairy will gain the life points if it's in defense mode, and that will pair with our Fire Princess. So we're kind of all in on Fire Princess for the burn part. We only have one. The good side is we do have the Monster Reborn from the starter deck. That's the only thing saving us. We can get back some of these cards that we need for the combo. We have two Cure Mermaid. I mean, it's 1500. It's not tiny, but it does gain life points while it's on the field face up. So that'll work with the Fire Princess as well. It's just not a lot. It's not a very good burn strategy, but we do have the Hain Hain just to throw some stuff back. The spells are what's really going to give us a chance. We have two Pot of Greed. Unfortunately, we didn't get that third, but still pretty good. Monster Reborn's crazy good. We've got a ton of removal. We have one Dark Hole, one Fissure, three Akibio Drachmord, and one Offerings. We do have three Offerings. I just didn't have space for three and losing the draw phase three times. It's just not that good. Akibio is really good because it stops them from attacking. It destroys them a couple turns later, and then you get the card back so you can reuse it. I kind of like it more than Offerings, which is why there's only one of those in here. Toll is crazy annoying. You have to pay to attack. If he doesn't know we're on burn at first, he might voluntarily attack a few times. And uh, the Dark Door will also help because only one monster can attack during the battle phase. We did have a Vengeful Bog Spirit, which doesn't allow you to attack when you summon a monster that turn. But it, it's just kind of redundant with the Dark Door, and I just didn't have room for it. So I went three Dark Door instead of the one Vengeful Bog Spirit as well. I went with the one Baked Doll because we do have some big beaters that can attack. And if, if I want to go aggressive, maybe knock his life points down to where I can actually burn him then we, we're going to want to destroy those traps that he has face down, or at least figure out what he ha does have face down. The three fairy box is a must play. I mean, it's just a really annoying card for him. He can't get through. If he can only attack once per turn, he has to go through fairy box, and then he has to hit over somebody. It might, you know, it might just win us the game. The mask of weakness is just to keep our big guys alive. And honestly, if he's attacking and losing life points and losing monsters, gives us field, field advantage. Maybe we can attack directly. It's kind of a mixture of big guys, you know, battle traps, and a little bit of burn. And then we have the Magic Cylinder. It's like our best burn card, to be honest. The Trap Hole. And then, of course, we pull Torrential Tribute. It's crazy good. That might win us a game. Side deck is just a bunch of bunch of nothing. We got the Mass Beast. It's honestly okay. I would consider putting it in. Maybe if he does have, like, Heavy Storm and Giant Trunade, like, he definitely could have. 
from his magic pillar packs and maybe his starter deck. I can't remember what's in Joey. We have Mask of Darkness. We could add back a trap. I had it in the main deck. It was the last card I cut. It's just not very good if you don't have a trap in the graveyard. And even if it is, it's still a tiny body. We got the three ritual spells, two more bait dolls if we want to get crazy. We've got two more offerings to the Dune if we need more removal. Here's the burn cards that I cited out. It's just bad to play burn. Like just play a card and all it does is burn your life points. It's just not good. So maybe if we want to go crazy, we'll side him in. But Vengeful, there it is. If we want to get crazy on the stall. Mask Restrict, if he does have a lot of like tribute stuff, which I'm not expecting too much, but maybe if he does, we side this in. It's pretty strong. And then another burn trap, the Just Desserts. This could be huge because 2,500. Now that I'm thinking about this, I really want this in the main deck. No, I think we'll leave it in the side. We'll leave it in the side deck. Maybe we'll side it in if uh, he if we think we can actually burn him and he ends up with a ton of monsters on the field. Then the Fusion Dex is some bluffs. It's nothing really. So I do not feel good about this at all. I will be shocked if we win this one. So we're going to do our best. So let's see what's going to happen. All right, you guys. So this is the deck we are bringing to today's duel. This sort of just looks like a tuned up Joey starter deck. But to be honest, I'll take it. And we've got some fun things in store potentially. So let's go and do the card by card. So first up, we've got a barrel dragon. Now, I'm not trying to summon this. I kind of want this to get into the graveyard with like morphing jar or something. So then I'm able to bring it back with monster reborn. And plus, since I have three magician of faith, I could just theoretically keep looping it. So that seems pretty good. It's an OK bomb, but it's not the best. We also have two cyber jar which this is just a board wipe and can just help us at get so many cards so quickly. Just a wonderful card to have. A Gear Free the Iron Knight kind of contradicts with all the equip spells, but it's an 1800 beater, so it's pretty good. Giant Rat is a recruiter that can actually get Prevent Rat, which is a 2k defender. Then three copies of Magician of Faith. If there is anything that is going to carry me this episode, it's going to be these, because this is amazing. We also have a Maha Vilo for all the equip spells, which this can get very large very quickly. A Morphing Jar, courtesy of Tournament Pack 2. A Mother Grizzly, which can get us I turtle so it's another sort of 2k defender to hold up penguin soldier's nice to bounce stuff back to hand sangan time wizard is sort of a board wipe it's a 50 50 but honestly we're kind of struggling for good cards so i'll take it which of the black four seven colored fish dark fire soldier number one the island turtle prevent rat sky scout or harpy's brother and a spirit of the harp rounding out our monsters for the spells black pendant just gives 500 two block attack which is great for removal a change of heart a dark hole a fisher two copies of giant true nade this will be nice to ensure that our plays can stick a malevolent nuzzler i'm citing the horn of the unicorn because this has the same effect except we actually get to choose when we want to stack it so i figure that's a little bit better although horn of the unicorn has been good in the past so i didn't write it completely off just yet monster reborn scapegoat shield and sword which i think is going to be particularly good but we'll see snatch steel and stim pack rounding out the spells then further traps house of adhesive tape this may seem like a sus include but i know that phil has copies of hysteric fairy potentially because he opened labyrinth of nightmare and house of adhesive tape is a way to essentially trap hole a monster like that so i figure have Having this could be okay. If he doesn't have anything good for it, we'll just side it out. Reinforcements for the attack boost. Robin Goblin can just absolutely shred his hand in the beginning stages, so hopefully that's the case. Seven Tools of the Bandit. He could get some pretty good traps from LON, like Torrential Tribute, but at the very least, he will have a trap hole from the Kaiba starter deck, so I want to have this in here. One trap hole of our own. An ultimate offering just to be able to swarm the field if we can potentially kill, and a Waboku to hold him off. And then for the side deck, one Barrel Dragon. I don't really want to play more copies of this card, but if the the plan to like revive it actually is pretty good then maybe we will play the second i'm then playing a transformative sideboard for games two and three going into a sort of empty jar mill-esque deck so we have three spear cretins in here which has a flip effect that says when it's sent to the graveyard after being flipped each player selects a monster from the graveyard and special summons it and either face up attack or face down defense the plan here is to get either cyber jar or morphing jar and that way we can keep just activating them and make ruxin just lose his entire higher deck that's why i'm playing more than 40 because if i have a slightly higher deck count than him then he should mill out before i do he might also have draw cards like pot of greed so that could actually work in our favor we'll have to see but this is very funny at the very least we can spear crete and loop and that way we just make sure that we don't die we also have a castle of dark illusions as another wall if we decide to play this more defensive mill strategy as well as unhappy maiden which can just straight up end the battle phase chorus of sanctuary may make its return we will have to see how well the mill strategy plays out 
out. Curse of Fiend is like kind of removal, but it's probably the worst we have, but I still wanted to have it anyway. Gravekeeper Servant is for the mill strategy as well, because if Ruxin wants to attack, he's going to have to mill more cards, which will actually get us to our win condition a lot faster. The Horn of the Unicorn, as aforementioned, remove trap. He could be on cards like Skull Layer, so I figure having this isn't the worst. Two copies of Taylor of the Fickle. If he actually has equip spells that are good, we can equip them to our monster instead, like Mage Power United We Stand, and that's going to be pretty deadly. Another House of Adhesive Tape in case he has a play set of Hysteric Fairy, which opening 30 packs of Labyrinth of Nightmare is pretty likely, and he just deserts because if he swarms his field with Spear Cretan or with Cyber Jar, we can just desert him for a huge amount of damage. So, guys, I am super excited. This is going to be a very fun episode. Can't wait to see what Ruxin brought. It's going to be interesting to see how the pulls worked out for him. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Well, Ruxin, here we find ourselves once again. A uh, bit of an interesting one. I would say our pulls were like pretty even in terms of like the amount of cards that we got. The quality of them obviously is up for debate, but how are you feeling going into this one? I am feeling weird. That's all <laughs> I can tell you. It's, it's pretty weird. I don't know what's going to happen in this one. Yeah, I mean, we're dealing with early sets. The The power ceiling is only so high. And there are some things that we actually weren't even familiar with that we can talk about at the end of the episode. So uh, I'm ready to just get into it, buddy, if you are. Oh, I guess I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound very confident over there, but let's go Lord ahead and shout the I. patron. It is Tyler Van Nostel. Thank you for the support. Apologies if I butchered your name. What you got, buddy? What you got? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Paper gang. I was about to say, Paper Gang came in clutch for you. All right, buddy. Uh, we both have extra decks. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What are we about to do here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. I get to draw a card too, don't I? You oh, do. You I do get, get to draw for turn. Don't forget. It's always weird playing these old series because, especially now that some of the other series are actually getting close to modern Yu-Gi-Oh, I just have to yeah. flip flop. So, good luck, buddy. All right. Whew. Okay. What are we going to do here? <laughs> I'm going to normal summon my hysteric fairy. I knew you were going to pull at least a few of these with 30 yeah. Labyrinth of Nightmare packs. Yep. Yeah, we pulled quite a few of these. So and as well, I'm going to set. I'm going to set. And I think I'm going to just uh, pass it from there. Go ahead. Okay, we'll draw. You got anything in the standby phase for us? I've got nothing. Okay, so we'll head on over to main one then. I think I will just play a bit defensively here. I'll do a T-set oh, and pass. Go ahead. You're going to play defensively, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, Hysteric Fairy is kind of big, so. Hysteric Fairy, it's sizable for sure. Oh, do we want to get aggressive here? I'm I was trying to look at your sets because, you know, we're not. I didn't look at any of your cards, and I'm like, what could he have pulled like what am i scared of here and i can't i can't think of anything i don't even know no. <laughs> so, like, I, so i i your set's gotta be the 30 tp2s or whatever it was i I'm like what is in there so i feel like there might be some 22k defenders in there we're gonna have to find out so i'm gonna normal summon <laughs> You didn't get any Labyrinth of Nightmares, so there's no, no like, Torrential or anything. So, I, okay, I think I can summon fine. All right. Cure, Cure Mermaid. Mermaid. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, let, let me gain a few life points, potentially. Let's go to the battle. Sure. Uh, Hysteric Fairy is going to attack this face down. Oh, this is about to get very interesting, my friend. You were worried oh, about no. things no, that you would attack jar. into. Oh, no. Cyber Jar, baby! Let's no. play! Oh, my God! <laughs> uh, Magic Ruler! Okay. So Tomorrow good. Yep. Nuke the board. Uh, and I will be so nice. I will let you go first. So wow, let's see so what you got. You, so I guess, what do we just mill these? Yeah. So I usually just mill the five and then uh, anything that can't be summoned goes to hand. So. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. There's torrential. Speaking good of Lord. That torrential, there it is. Okay. I'm adding, uh, I'm going to normal summon the uh, special summon. I should say the Zamra. Okay. Zamira. Then I will add to my hand the Dark Door. What a... That's <laughs> crazy. Reward. Holy shit. Baydol. Uh-huh. And Torrential Tribute. All right, my turn. Let's see if my mills are as good as that. I doubt it. Monster ah! Reborn. That's pretty okay. good. Not bad. We both that's... have Reborn now, so I'm going to add that Shield and Sword oh, Waboku to my hand. Oh, that sucks. 
I'm going to set the Magician of Faith, and I I suppose... Hmm. What do I want to do with this Harpy's brother is the That's question. A big question. You have Zombira. I do. He will yeah, lose I'll attack. Yeah, I'll put him yet. in attack. I'll put him in All attack. Right. Uh... Do me a favor and remind me if sword and shield, uh, shield and sword, whatever it is, is that permanent or is that one turn? It's just for the turn. It's just for the turn. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I could not remember that. Um, so it's still my battle phase. It is still so your battle phase. So if I, you'd I, like I, to attack, you can. I think we continue into this Sky Scout. Sure. So I'll take, was it 300? Yeah, and I'm going to lose 200 here. You are. So he's down to um, 1900. He's down to a small 1900. Going to go to main two. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of cards in my hand here. You do. But uh, I imagine I, you're going to be setting a lot of them. Uh, probably, but first I'm going to activate this bait doll and hit this. <sighs> it's my seven tools Ooh, of the that bandit. Is, that's pretty. That's an ultra yep. rare pool. Actually, you gotta, I'm, what am I doing? This goes to the graveyard. I'm thinking yeah. of bait doll's effect. Yeah, bait doll, which now gets shuffled into the deck. Yeah, bait doll gets reshuffled. Correct. Okay, and then I need to shuffle it in there. Oh, that's my hand. Shuffle. Okay, double shuffle just to be sure. All right. Just to be sure. You do have that sword and shield, uh, or shield and sword, whatever it is. I get confused with those Pokemon games, but I could be 500 attack with this guy. I don't really necessarily like that, but I don't think I really have a choice. I think I'm just going to uh, activate a toll from my hand. Oh, okay. Going to make so me pay some life if I want to attack. Right. I see. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get a little weird here. Um, I also would like to activate a uh, dark door for my hand as well. Oh so. my God. Just playing this like stall, like burn sort of strat. Okay. Okay. Possibly. Uh, and then I'm going to end my turn. So go ahead. Okay. Sounds good. So I will draw anything in so standby. Uh, no, don't have you storm me. Yeah. You know, I would really like that right now. That would be a sweet four for one, but you got a lot of cards in your hand. I do. And you know, half of them, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, that dark door is a bit obnoxious because I can only attack with one thing. Uh, granted, I don't have a lot going on right now, but you, uh, you could say obnoxious potentially. Yes. Yeah, it's it's kind of obnoxious. I'll be honest. <laughs> hmm. What do we want to do? I think I'm going to run out a giant rat. Oh, that's pretty good. Did you get multiple of these is the question. That's, that's the question. I will cool. fire the shield and sword. Um, I am going to bef uh, on the summon of giant rat. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to activate trap hole. Oh, OK, sure. That makes sense. Yeah, All right. So the rat goes. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, that's annoying. Hmm. Don't want you to get too crazy there with that. That's not wonderful. Really want to get rid of this Zombira. It's kind of... He's kind of annoying, for sure. Kind of, yeah. He's just kind of chilling there. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, all right. Let's 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 jam. I'll Monster Reborn. Oh, okay. I'm going to grab... What do I want? That's the question. I kind of want the rat, if I'm being honest. Uh, that rat's pretty scary. Because at least if the rat dies, I get something back. Uh, you know, I actually am going to go for the rat, surprisingly. Okay. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to flip my Magician of Faith and get that Reborn back to my hand. That's very annoying. Okay. Uh, and then I am going to Shield and Sword, which I was attempting to do earlier. All right. So I'm going to be 500. You're actually going to be 300 because you're oh, losing lose 200 it. attack. Right. That's, that's anno very annoying. It switches actually. original attack, not current that's, attack. That's true. So, yeah, good point. So that's kind of funny that that works that way. Uh, I think. I'm sure. If not, I'm sure the comments are going to, you know, I eat us alive. You, I think you are right. Maybe. All right, let's we'll just find out. That. Let's go. We'll find. I'm hitting with the giant rat anyway, so I'll pay 500 for toll. Okay, you're going to pay 500. I'm going to take what here? I'm going to take... 11? You're going to take 1450 no, minus, minus three, 11 300. And so 11 yeah. and a half. Yeah, 1150. Okay, okay, I will go to grave and take that. So 1150 off the old yeah. life points. And then second main, I'll just set one and throw it over to you, buddy. Go ahead. Can't attack with the Magician of Faith, unfortunately. It's funny, Magician of Faith could have actually hit over Zombira. Yeah, that, the dark <laughs> door actually helped me a little, a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Yeah. Okay, you've got two cards. Only one monster can attack for a turn right now. Correct. Dark door doing work. 
It's it's quite annoying. I'm going to get a little crazy here. Okay, maybe I know not you've that got crazy. a reborn of your own, so maybe not that crazy. I'm gonna activate a Kibio Drakmord on the. Uh, oh, the giant rat. okay, sure. And a lot of LON cards in your deck. Uh, thirty of my forty-five packs I opened were LON, so <laughs> fair, fair, fair. There wasn't a lot of diversity, unfortunately. Okay, <laughs> I mean these cards are good. They're, they're uh, not bad. They're not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna normal summon a dancing fairy there she is sure not the best card ever but it is a card mm -hmm. you know what i don't feel too bad about this i'm just gonna end my turn just gonna pass on the dancing fairy huh okay yeah we'll draw go to main one here oh boy <laughs> that's interesting oh man i gotta do it it's way too tempting it's way too tempting okay i'm going to sacrifice my giant rat which makes your ekabi drachmore go away okay but I'm also going to sacrifice Magician of Faith oh, to run out Barrel Dragon. You pulled two ultra rares in seven packs. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What Don't worry this? about it. Don't worry about it. Is Barrel oh, Dragon fine? Oh, that is fine ish, I guess. I'm going to use that effect where you're going to target your dancing fairy. There's one heads. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There oh, my Come God. On. Come tails, on, buddy. Tails, tails. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yes! Barrel Dragon! Bang! Bang! Oh, <laughs> Get him out of here. 2,600 so, to the dome. Let's I'm go. I'm so angry. Take your 500, please, I'll sir. take the 500. That's <laughs> perfectly fine. Any oh, day. Any day. Is... And I will pass the turn, buddy. Go I'm ahead. I'm so sad right now. Okay. All right. Let's go to main phase. We are not looking good right now. However, we do have a bait doll for your back row. I will chain it. It's Waboku. All right. You so get the effect. I get the uh, effect. Bait so doll will just keep getting shuffled back. You could have, you could have like a place out of bait doll, which is really scary. Yeah, I could. Okay. Then I will activate. Uh, could be old Drakmore. Another one. No. Uh, why would you do one. this to me? <laughs> uh, because that barrel dragon did some really bad things to me. I'm, I'm going to set one card in in my turn. Okay, so that's the torrential because you haven't set anything yet. You have one Maybe card in hand. Uh, well, to, you can summon into it. It's fine. I can. Uh, I might be able to clean this one up, actually. Giant true nade. Oh, that's pretty scary. It's not bad. You got a response. And I you your your packs were crazy. I don't. Have <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, that go, you go to your hand. It's not heavy storm. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. And okay. giant true nades from starter deck Joey, sir. So don't get too I, crude. <laughs> I, uh, I, oh, I knew it had to have something in there. Okay. Yeah, it's not right. bad. It's not bad. Uh, I will oh! go ahead now and wrap things up because I have plenty of things we can do here. I can just run out a Witch of the Black Forest, Monster Reborn, anything, and that is game one, my friend. All right. Okay. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> painful that's painful for sure that happened that, that happened that barrel dragon that Come barrel on. dragon i didn't think i'd be tribute summoning it but here we are <laughs> i can't believe that just happened <laughs> giant trunade double monster reborn barrel dragon hit the coin flip hit the coin flips yeah uh, i think i don't think i could have killed you if i didn't uh hit you in with that 2600 so yeah. yeah, coin flips mattered. Coin flips I, I mattered. made a big mistake not attacking with that dancing fairy. I should have taken out one of those, but I didn't expect you to have barrel dragon. So I had the Waboku. So to be fair, you weren't getting through regardless. Right, right. So, so yeah, so I, I whatever, you know, I can't do it. It's anything. fine. It's game two. It's game fine. Two. Let's game go. two. New game. Let's it's a it. new game. I'm going first. Good luck, buddy. I'm drawing my card. OK, I, I feel OK about this until you have three giant true nades, three monster <laughs> points. All right, let's see what we can do. We're gonna just gonna normal. I might have something. Oh god, no! You don't need to have anything. Let me just normal summon my good friend Zambira. Yeah, he's back. Sure, he's back. And also, I'm going to be setting. And I think that will do it for this turn. Two back row, huh? All right, I'll draw anything in the standby for me. Nothing in the standby. All right, I'll go to main one. Uh, I think I am going to just set a card and I'm going to activate Gravekeeper Servant. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, you want to slow the game down now. All right. No, no this Maybe. is Bills. Your opponent sends one turn. 
You got the clarinet attack. Okay, interesting. The playground classic. Yep. I'm not a fan at all, but uh, okay. I mean, you you're a fan of Toll, which makes me pay life points. So how is that many different? Are, I'm just making a mill cards. You mean my Toll that I got in one pack of Magic Ruler? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one pack of Magic Ruler. Let me see. Do I want to start milling cards? That's the question. I think the answer is. This is going to be a very interesting game. <laughs> yeah. In that case, if if you want to go for it, let's go with the dark door. <laughs> OK, uh, we're, we're really slowing this game down. Sure. Go ahead. You're just passing, huh? OK, we'll draw. Uh, we'll go to main one. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> this is <laughs> I can play this game, <laughs> right? This is going to be fun. Let's go to main phase one. And I might have to start milling here. OK, let me just uh, I'm just trying to mill those baked dolls out of your deck. Do you, know? you have another cyber jar? I think you are going to mill me. You have cyber jar. You have Gravekeeper servant. Uh, this is not looking promising for this deck. you got a lot of cards in your hand. I think let's just uh, if I mill like a monster reborn. I'm going to be very angry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like you get them if it's a cyber jar. But if it's a morphing jar, that's true. That's a different you know story. You didn't flip it. Go ahead. All right, that's fine. Uh, we'll go to main one. I will pass. Go ahead. My goodness, this is exciting. <laughs> this is thrilling gameplay. This is what oh, people came for. Oh, this is fantastic. That would have been an annoying mill. Okay, let's go to... All right, you know what I'm going to do? I can't stop looking at my hand. All right. I think we're committed at this point. <laughs> Are we committed? I mean, I've got more cards in deck than you do, buddy. You do so. have a lot of cards. <laughs> it's not fun for sure. I will have to go ahead and uh, I mean, you don't have to. I have I have seven. I could just discard if I'm yeah, if just, I'm feeling it. Yeah, for sure. You gonna uh, set some? I got bait dolls. I'll set one. I'll set one. Go ahead. Okay. If you want to bait doll me, be my guest. Okay, let's go to main one. Um, base downs. I haven't seen anything too crazy. I mean, you had seven tools. You had. I feel like I had something Waboku. That's not gonna hurt me, but it would be pretty strong. Okay, so I'm gonna normal summon a hysteric fairy. Finally committing, huh? Sure. We're committing to the Hysteric Fairy. I'm going to go to battle. Okay. Do I want to go to battle? Well, I'm in battle, but do I want to actually Do you want to battle attack? Battle is the question. <laughs> I think that we want to find out what that face down is. Let's do it. It's Cyberjar! <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? First of all, I have to mill a card. Um, you do have to mill. Okay. No. There was a dancing fairy. Right. Not bad. I'm angry right now. Not going to lie. I'm angry. All right. To the grave. I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So All mill right. your five. Let's see what you get. Okay. You pulled magic cylinder. <laughs> oh my God. No. It's possible that I pulled magic cylinder. Okay. It's, it's right there. What do you mean it's possible? <laughs> okay. I oh it. my God. First of all, all right. we will be special summoning Hain Hain. Uh, we're going okay. to set that. In attack position, right? Uh, no, thank you. I am going to... <laughs> it's still my battle phase. I don't know what you But you've already declared your I, one attack for the turn because of Dark Door. Thank you for reminding me. So I will be... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to special summon this Cure Mate, Mermaid in attack mode. Why not? Okay. Two. I was going to say, yeah, you get a Bait Doll, a Dark Door, and a Magic Cylinder That's to right. your hand. All of those, they're pretty decent. Cure Mermaid gives you 800 life points during your standby phase. That's right. Okay. Uh, my turn for Cyber Jar. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's Spear a lot, Creighton. actually. Are you Holy crap. Me? So, Spear Wab Creighton. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean, buddy? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, I get to special summon a oh, lot here, actually. You are. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring them all out. Uh, you can't attack me. But I guess I'll set them all. Oh, so. my goodness. That wasn't bad. I mean, again, you have Dark Door, so this I can't really do much. This is officially awful. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. I'm having a blast. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. <laughs> um, you had... Wait, what was your spell or trap? Waboku was my trap. Waboku, okay. I'm going to go to main two. This okay. Decisions need to be made here. <laughs> First, we're going to use our bait doll and just... Hopefully oh, sure. You up. can have it. It's reinforcements. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> hey, we'll take it. It's free. Uh, it's free. Uh, help me uh, not get milled out. Right That's there. fair. That's that true. is fair. It's I'm still three behind, though, which is not looking good. Right. So I'm still at seven cards in my hand, which is not pretty. What do you mean? Just set your magic cylinder, buddy. It's, we all know you have it. I don't have it. I, mean, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're not attacking this game anyway, so I think I'm just going to end the turn. OK, that's fine. We'll draw. Oh, Perfect. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> you already know what this is, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I am going to activate Chorus of Sanctuary. <laughs> 
Patrick sound familiar, buddy? Sound familiar? It does sound familiar. I also remember that I have seven cards in my hand and I had to set something. So should I do that? <laughs> oh yeah, you should do that uh, if you have something. Okay, I, I will. I will set another one. Let me just uh, let me just do that for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Chorus sure. of Sanctuary. So you set that. This is all. Your favorite card. I, your favorite I do card. love that card. It's very enjoyable. Now the question is, what am I going to do next? Because it's a bit of a tricky situation. I have a bunch of monsters on the field, but to be honest, none of them really do much. <laughs> they all just kind of sit here. They all just kind of so, sit there, yeah. I'm trying to think of what my next move should be. I think I'm gonna start by flip summoning this Spear Cretan. Okay, each player selects one monster in the graveyard and special summons it, oh. Only when he's sent to the graveyard. When he's sent to the graveyard, so, oh, okay. Yes, so the flip effect is activated, oh, that's, but that's now he's just- very strange, okay. <laughs> it's a very strange card, yes. Uh, so he's just, he's flipped and he's not doing much, okay. but he's there. Yeah. He's there. He's okay. there to mill and mill Then, what is, what is Hane Hane's defense? Like 400? It's 500. 500, so that, oh, that puts it at exactly a thousand. That's irritating, okay. Well, uh, I am going to flip summon a Sangen. Okay. I think I want to try. <laughs> I've got this time wizard sitting here and part of me just really wants, you know, the luck hey. went so well with Barrel Dragon. Part of me just kind of wants to just I mean, flip it and just nuke you your board. You kind of all these in the graveyard anyway on your side of the field, so. In a strange way, I it's, do, honestly. It's honestly I'm not gonna probably lie. the best value time wizard in, in ever history. Yeah, getting a cure mermaid and a set of honey honey. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, do I want to roll the dice like that? Oh, uh, yes, definitely. It's funny. It's very funny at the uh, very We're least. all about funny, right? I mean, we don't, we don't care about winning. We are about we funny. About you winning. know what? You know what? I'm yeah, going for it. That's what I'm I want to go about. for it. I'm going to go for it. Okay. okay. Uh, so I'm going to toss Woo! a coin. If I call it right, your whole board gets nuked. If I call it wrong, my whole board gets nuked, and I take damage equal to uh, half of everything, which sucks. All right, but, Joey Wheelie. Yeah, I mean, after the Boral Dragon, or Bor Barrel Dragon, <laughs> I'm thinking, wrong era of yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh. After the Barrel Dragon, <laughs> I'm feeling like Joey today. I'm feeling like Joey. Heads always shreds, baby. Let's go ahead and flip it Come up. On, Let's see what baby, happens. No! Yeah! <laughs> Don't mess with Joey Wheeler. Joey get him out. Wheeler. Get him out. Oh, yeah, get him out of here. Okay. So that was fun. I uh, didn't think we'd get this far. That was not fun <laughs> at all. Okay, it was a little fun. Uh, I still have fun. a summon, but I don't know. I feel like you would have torrentialed me at this point if you had torrential. Right, right. I don't feel like I need to commit more, so I'm just going to go to battle and hit for a thousand. You're going to hit for a thousand. Uh, you know what? You <laughs> take the thousand. <laughs> is this the spite cylinder? Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know how often you're going to be attacking this game, so I'm going to take the value where I can get it. You know, that's a fair point. That's a fair yeah. point. I'm surprised I'm attacking at all, honestly. Yeah, but yeah. go ahead. You're getting a little excited good. there after that time wizard. So, oh my goodness, this is quite the situation. I mean, after barrel dragon and now time wizard. I mean, I I should just hit the casino after this. Yes, you definitely should. Um, I think that honestly, I think that this might be it. Then this might be the play. I <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, and I'm scared. Oh, this is just crazy. This is, oh my goodness. Four, you have three mini monsters that are threatening me right now, and I'm Fissure, and I'm picking Time Wizard because there's a tie right there, so. Get to be fair, I mean, I think getting Time Wizard might be correct. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> trying to, I'm not trying to let that happen again, and obviously I don't want Spirit Cretan in the grave, so you're trying to mill me. But I think I still have to activate Pot of Greed, oh right? Oh my god, like, you're going for Okay, I mean, okay. I gotta I gotta do something. You gotta go. It's for Pot it. of Greed. You know, it's too good. You can't just not activate Pot of Greed, am I right? Okay. Maybe I just knew you were gonna get three Pot of Greeds out of those TP3s, mm -hmm. and I figured, yeah, maybe we should make that work against him. Did we get three? <laughs> is the question. That's the question. That's the question. Okay. Well, I have zero, if that makes you feel better. <laughs> it doesn't, not because you're on a mill deck, so it doesn't feel better at all. Um <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of decisions to be made here, and I think we got to start right now. You got that stupid Gravekeeper servant. That thing's getting on my nerves. I'm going to summon our friend Zombira. He is back. He's, yep. He's back. He's always here doing something. You've got a lot of cards on the field. It scares me, even though they are little. You do have that Barrel Dragon. I got I to gotta be careful about that. All right. You know what? You have to be careful. Barrel Dragon's pretty good. Let's go to battle. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attack into the Sangin. Going to mill a card. I'm going to mill a card. Okay. There is the toll. Not the worst. Okay. Not the worst. In this I'm situation. thinking if I want Sangen to die here. Hmm. Um. I mean, it's Sangen. You get a free card. It's pretty good. I do get a free <laughs> card. 
That is true. You know what? I will let it go. Uh, and I'll use the effect. Okay. Uh, what I'm grabbing, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> uh, let's grab... Well, this this will be fun. This will be fun. Oh, uh, off of the sand again. Let's grab another cyber jar, shall we? Why would you do this? First of all, take your 11. <laughs> I'll add my uh, my yeah, take powder it. here. I'm down to 19. Uh, this is fantastic. Okay, in main two, I'm going to go ahead and set a card. And uh, I guess I'm just going to end my turn and up to the cyber jar. Going to be one of those games. Going to be one of those games. I will go to main one. And I think... I think I'm gonna fire this monster reborn. Oh my, you gotta stop with this. Question is, I don't really know what I want here. Oh. Uh, I could just get your Zombira engraved to hit over the one you have on the you field. You could do that. I kind of like that. That'd be annoying. Please don't do that. Uh, Part of me wants to just get Sangen again, but like not really. Time Wizard's very funny if I get that again. Time Wizard. I think I'm just gonna grab your Zombira. Okay, all, safe play, I like it. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to flip up this Magician of Faith, get, get the reward back. Yeah, great, fantastic. <laughs> I wanted some value off of that oh, card yeah. at some point. Yeah, no value at all, just getting a monster reborn back. Let's go to battle. I'm going to hit over to your Zombira. Uh, unless you have your seven tools, you are not going to hit over my Zombira. Mask of Weakness, huh? Okay, it's mask sure. Of weakness. So that knocks him down to 14 to your 19. So I Great. take 500 here. You take 500. I gain another counter because I did destroy you, you by battle. Correct. It's quite you annoying, do. but it's something. So second main, I'm going to put this Spear Cretan to defense. Right. I am going to set one. I'm set a Cyber And jar. I am going to go to end phase. I actually think I'm going to discard here. Wow. Uh... You want something in the grave? Is it a spear cretin? Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this mother grizzly. Are you playing a hundred monsters or what, what is going on here? All right. Yeah, um, don't worry about it. Don't worry. I'm about worried it. about it for sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to draw my card. Uh, we are going to stand by main phase one. I'm just scared of that giant true nade. I mean, that is such a good card against my deck. It's so good. Oh, it's so strong. And it, it will win you the game if I'm not, you know, in the right spot. Okay. I've got a 1700 Zombira. He's getting smaller by the second. It's not great. Correct. I think at this point, we're just going to pick battle phase. Sure. I am going to attack the the moth. I'm going to mill my- Oh, well, Boku here. Oh, okay. I you get to still, mill I still. still mill, yeah. Hysteric Fairy. Okay, not the Hysteric worst. Hysteric Fairy. Um, so it does nothing, right? Okay. Yep, just cancels out. Okay, I'm going to go to main two. Don't really want to take or 1,400 damage. Yeah, it is a much. decent amount. Um, in that case, I'm going to set a card. And okay. I'm going to end my turn. Sure. Ugh. <laughs> we'll draw. Uh, anything to stand by. Uh, nothing, but I don't like the sound of that laugh. Not going to lie. So we'll put the Magician of Faith in defense. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Barrel Dragon. Uh, yeah, right. That'd be pretty nice. <laughs> Honestly, I'm I'm kind of just chilling. But the problem is, is I want to play cards because I have to discard cards if I don't. Nice. Keep discarding. That's fine with me. I bet it is. I bet it is. So you discard reborn hmm. something or something like that. But... I'm I'm just going to pass. I'll get rid of this Maha Vilo. Go ahead. Maha Vilo. That's scary. OK. Ah, OK. Okay, now that gets a little bit more interesting. Uh, let's check the graveyard real quick. What do we got in here? Oh, why would you be checking the graveyard there, buddy? I, I don't know. Why would I be checking the graveyard? <laughs> All right, I should probably... It's unfortunate you got that dark door face. <laughs> dark door is kind of doing me in right now. But yeah, so uh, I'm just going to let you go. It's going to pass. Uh, go to main one. Honestly, same issues before. Just really don't want to do anything. <laughs> Yep, I'll just pass. I'll get oh. rid of this unhappy maiden. Go ahead. Okay, all right. Oh, my goodness. Oh. See, at least you're on full life. You should feel good that I'm not just going to completely yeah. just blow you out out of nowhere. That is that is true. Uh, I'm not yeah. too worried about that, but what I am worried about <laughs> is 17 cards in my deck. <laughs> I'm going to set a card. Okay. And I, that's it. Just, just go. Just go. This is fun. This is fun. This is oh, that makes it actually even more fun. No. Okay. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't know what you're worried about, buddy. I don't know what you're worried about. Everything. Everything. I'm just going to set another card. Go ahead. No. Okay. Actually, this is not terrible. You know what? Let's go to main one. Sure. I'm going to activate offerings to the doomed. Ooh, okay. And you're going to pop. Because I can't read. I thought it was an E card. It's face up. So <laughs> if you want to take it back, it's so, fine. At this point, 
it'll save me a draw. So I'm going to I'm just going to get rid of your Magician of Faith. Sure, that's fine. Um, you don't want to kill my Spear Cretan? I kind of like it where it is, to be honest. Um, OK, I fine. do like it right there. So I'm just going to pass the <laughs> turn on this one. Sure, we'll draw. OK, uh, offering to the doom does save you a draw phase. Funny enough, it, like it I didn't think that you. was going to come up, but like between that and bait doll, you do have ways to slow your draw, which is pretty yeah, good. I can slow it a little bit. I don't know if it's enough, though. It's not a ton, but it might be enough. It might be enough. OK, what do we want to do? This is. This is getting fun. Aren't you having fun, buddy? I'm having a blast. Oh, this is great. I'm loving this so much. If you could see my <laughs> face right now, you would know how much I love it. Okay. Well, maybe we should keep having fun. How's that sound? Eh, maybe we... I think boring might be a good idea. Let's stick with that. <laughs> how, about, how about boring for once? <laughs> uh, let's see. What do we want to do? A little bit scared of what you've got in the back row. There's nothing to worry about back there, really. Oh, nothing? Yeah, hmm. that's not much, Strange. at least strange well we'll see about that okay i'm going mm. to fire a giant true nade. oh cool it's back dang that's that's fun okay <laughs> all right they all go back that card is really good all right let's see what you got oh i got another cyber jar you already knew that i did know that <laughs> i did know that which is what i was gonna offer into the doom until i you know decided to read okay uh this is all right let's nuke them oh this is not good at all so i will go first I, that's not wow, bad. Oh, 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 oh perfect is... timing. Okay. Perfect timing. Thank you, Spear Cretan. Oh, oh fantastic. Oh, fa that is fantastic. I'm so happy about that. All right, so go ahead and do your five now. We're going to have a lot of cards after this. Okay. Okay. Um, So I'm going to be normal sum or special summoning. Two Dark Elves. I mean, those are big. Those are big. We get them an attack. We get uh, Dancing Fair in defense. Ugh, this is this is going to be interesting. And then I get to add the fairy box to hand. And uh, Marie would also go to your hand, too, because it's only four or lower. Oh, it's a five. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, oh. it's a five. That's a terrible a card. Five. All right. <laughs> OK, so now I get to trigger the effect. We actually both get to play off of this spear cretin here so we both get to pick a card to either special summon and face up attack or face down defense okay so the question is what do i want to grab face down defense. um not gonna lie i kind of like the cyber jar again. <laughs> are you kidding me right now <laughs> i'm gonna special summon the hain hain face down that's not bad seems to make sense to me Ugh. okay so we've got that we have so many cards we... in our hand. <laughs> I know. We each have like 10 cards in hand, which is great and terrible at the same exactly. time. Exactly. Yes. Got some plays, but they're not fantastic. You can always pass. You do have the card advantage here. I could, but I really don't want to because <laughs> I have a lot of things I can do. This is like choice paralysis to the <laughs> Well, when half your deck degree. is in your hand, then it makes yeah. it a little bit more tough. Like, quite literally, in your case, I think you have more cards in your hand than your deck at this point, which is hysterical. OK, yeah, I do, actually. Yeah. OK, so here's what we're going to do. I am going to Monster Reborn. Uh, OK, your favorite card. I'm going to take your Zombira. Right. OK, pretty good. Uh, you're not going to be happy to see the follow up. I'm going to snatch steal your Dark Elf. <laughs> very well, very well. <laughs> I will, I will take it, I guess. That's hurts a uh, lot. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I'm not really going to be able to, like, hit through here because you got a bunch of monsters off the jar, which sucks, but it is what no, it is. I so I'll go to great, battle. To be honest. I'm going to hit into your Dark Elf, so okay, you'll take 100. I'm going to take 100 here. Dark Elf's going to go to the grave. Then I am going to go Seven Colored Fish into the Dancing Fairy. Okay. And then I will hit the Hain Hain here because I do want to just get it off. The pay field, your so. thousand. OK, we're going to yep. flip. I'm going to hit the Cyber Jar. Why would you do that, buddy? That's so mean. Uh, I mean, I think he can come back next turn and be fine. Uh, so we'll go to second main now, and I think I'm going to set. Uh, well, first, we're going to activate this Gravekeeper Serpent again oh, and this man. course of Sanctuary. Naturally, again. naturally, naturally. Uh, I'm going to set two cards i think that puts me at six and it does uh so i will pass the turn go oh ahead oh my goodness first of all i'll take my thousand 
you will gain your thousand from snatch deal, which at, to me at this point, life points don't matter. So you could have a million life points. <laughs> you know what? I just lost life points. You know what? I would love to have a million life points. I bet you would. I bet you would. You got a snatch steal? How did I miss that? <laughs> I just realized. Did you pull I that was waiting Magic for the World? reaction. <laughs> so it wasn't in the deck, right? You pulled that. I pulled that 100%. Oh, yeah. You, Easy. Your pulls, when you watch my pulls, you're going to be like, wow, I had good pulls. That's what you're going to think. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I won them, so you could have had them too, but you wouldn't That's, have pulled Snatch Steel. It's not that, magnetized to your hand like it is mine. Go ahead, buddy. You've got you 13 cards to work with. Be my guest. You don't have to rub it in. Okay. I have a million cards in my hand. What am I going to do here? You've got a Snatch Steel on my own monster. That's very exciting. To start, I'm going to activate a Kibio. Okay. And... I'm gonna I'm gonna target your Zombira. Okay, so I'll Shut just that. the token there will just represent yeah, that could be I, as well. I, no, I could just move it over to this side, and make it easier. Oh, that okay. works too. Sure. Okay, you still have three other monsters, which is intimidating. It's fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. I think it's I, I think it's quite fun. Actually. I'm sure you do. Uh, I do have another kid. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, sure. Uh, you've already used. Do you, if you have two Magician of Faith and you get another giant True Nade, it's gonna really it's gonna really be painful. Yeah, what are the odds I have a third Magician of Faith, huh? <laughs> let's remember, I, let's remember, there was only seven Metal Raiders packs. I got one in the Joey deck. Oh, I but... remember. I remember. We're going to set a card. Okay. My goodness. This is not good. <laughs> this is just not good. Uh, I'm going to set another card. Okay. I'm going to summon my good friend, Zombira. He has returned. What are you going to do, buddy? <laughs> What can I do? What can I do here? Okay. Honestly, can't remember what this is. It's probably that's the fate. that's the spear cretin. Okay. Okay. It's not moth, so we can we can hold off for at least this. Turn. Breathe easy for now, but spear cretin isn't exactly great. <laughs> no, spear cretin's awful. It's awful, but it doesn't lose me the game yet. So this is this is rough. I think there's no point in attacking the spear cretin. Attacking into one of these does almost no damage. I think I just have to pass. How many cards do I have? I'm going to have to discard. All right. I'm, you I'm have gonna go eight to... cards in hand. <laughs> I have eight cards in hand. Um, I'm going to discard. I'm going to discard the Dark Lord Marie. That's actually good. I mean, it gives uh, you life points, although it, that may not matter at this point. It's it's a terrible card right now, so it's not doing me any good. Um, and then I I think I'm going to get rid of this Dark Door, and I'm going to end my turn. I figured if I trunated that that would be the case. It's also funny, right. too, if you attack Dark Elf with Zombira, you technically, like, net lose life points because Snatch Steel's, like, giving you more at this point. Right, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll go to main one. I'm going to start by flipping this Spear Cretan. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Is that fine? That's, I guess it's fine. All right, he's just chilling. Did you uh, pull another trunade? Tell me you didn't do that. Uh, don't, don't worry about what I pulled. Don't worry about <laughs> what I pulled. Uh, I don't really want to do much here. I'm going to... Mm, I guess I'll throw the Dark Elf in defense. Right. And then I think I'm going to set. Oh my god. And goodness. I'm going to set. I'm going to go fully loaded here. You have 10 ahead. cards. 11. You have a field spell. My goodness. I do. I have every zone occupied. <laughs> this is awful. Okay. Well, first of all, I'll gain my thousand. Gain your life points. That's fine. That could be you, Drakborn. My things die in what? One more end phase on your side? That's true. Or the end, my end phase, excuse me. Yeah. So one more end yeah. phase and my things will die. This is ridiculous. Okay. I'm going to normal summon my Cure Mermaid. Sure. I think you need more life points, buddy. I, I think do, that's, I, that's the solution. I need solution. more life points. That will help me win. Think if I would do anything to Cure Mermaid. No, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I mean, it is a pretty good card. Nah, you it's, might want to consider right. it. I want to. I want to gift you more life points. Yeah, you could have another moth, another cyber jar. I mean, that this flip monster is probably something scary if you're gonna set it with five, four cards. Uh, man, I think we just end it. I think we're gonna end. It's gonna end. All right, buddy. I'll draw. Anything in standby? Nothing this time. Well, we'll go to main one and let's flip up a cyber jar. <laughs> How many of these do you have? You have at least two. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you bounced it with Hain Hain, remember? <laughs> oh, I forgot. It's been so long. <laughs> oh, this game is so long. My brain doesn't work anymore. Hey, I get some of my cards back. You get your <laughs> Ekabu Drak boards back. That is correct. So oh. I will mill five first. Oh my, this is- miserable. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's oh. wonderful. That's a great set there. All right. Uh, so I'm going to set oh. them off. I'm going to set the Penguin Soldier. I think I'm going to set Witch as well. I'll just set all of them. That's fine. All right, let's see your five, buddy. Unbelievable. What were the two other cards? 
Uh, it was a robin goblin and a fisher. Oh, cool. All right, great. There's the torrential you've been looking for the whole time. Torrential and dark hole, though. Dark hole. That and dark hole. That'd be fantastic if I could just, you know, have that. All right. To hand, mask of weakness. There's the bait doll. There's the torrential. There's the dark hole. Wow. Um, One monster off of that, too. Okay. All right. One uh, monster. So now... Actually, kind of wishing I didn't put these in defense now that I did that, but it's what it is, I suppose. I do have a million life points, so... You do have a million life points. At this point, I'm not killing you that way. Uh, now we resolve Spear Cretan, so we each get to pick one to bring on out. And, uh, buddy... <laughs> you know which one I'm picking? <laughs> I have no idea. What could it be? Uh, I actually am thinking about this because... You have Dark uh, do, Hole, so if you I, Dark Hole, I mean, I have a million cards in hand. I don't think I want to I honestly, like, search more. So I am going yeah. to represent the Cyber Jar here. So I'm basically going to force you to Dark Hole next turn. You are going to Cyber Jar. Okay, I'm going to... What do you feel like grabbing? I guess I'll special summon this Fire Princess in attack mode. Okay, sure. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, you do have some synergy here that could potentially start burning away at me. So that's not bad. That's, that's not true. Bad. I mean, That's assuming you survive. Yeah, <laughs> that is a, a strong assumption here. Hmm. Uh, I am going to Fisher the Fire Princess. I really Fisher just don't want to deal with that. The Fire That's just not nice. OK. Yeah, I don't want to take any chances that you can burn me to death because you have Dancing Fairy, too. So <laughs> I, I do have Dancing Fairy. Uh, I think I may have the game wrapped up by that point. But we'll see. We'll see. We will see. Uh, I'm going to get Dark Hold for my fucking life here momentarily. So with that being the case, I actually don't think there's much I can do. So I think I'm just going to set one. My goodness. And I'll throw it over to you. That's six cards in hand. Four cards left in deck. This three now. Why don't you try I, attacking with that dancing fairy? <laughs> See how that goes. I do gain my 200 for Dark Lord Marie. You do. Uh, uh, you're at 10,000 life points. Congratulations. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> I've hit the milestone. I have more life points. That's how this game works. Anyone's game. Oh, this is... This is terrible. All right, so we got to start off with the card that we know I'm going to be using. Do you have the magic jammer? Do you have something like that? I do not. So this will resolve. OK, uh, I do have a witch, though, so I do yeah, get to trigger will get that some value out of that. That's pretty good. Uh, that is pretty good. I have one target. It is my giant rat. <laughs> OK, OK, you're milling yourself out. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. OK, I'm going to bait doll. Let's hope we can hit a trap. What you are you targeting? Cards. I'm going to target this new set I feel like might be something would it be something you know you're gonna get dark hold you are you don't have the most life points i think you might have set a trap here or it was a bluff because you know i have the bait doll so there's two options here i think that you were thinking about the dark hole so i'm gonna th say that's a trap i will chain robin goblin okay so it is so this will go back to the deck yep that gives and you four cards it gives you it four will. <laughs> it will yes um you now have robin goblin which is pretty annoying I do have a lot of cards, though, so <laughs> uh, if we roll the die, it's going to get interesting. You know, uh, he's got to hit like six is like the sixth and the 12th card in my hand. Um, I was about to say, don't know how that's going to work, <laughs> but hopefully we won't have to figure it out. Ah, uh, you've got five back row back there. Well, five. three, if we're being honest. Three. Yeah, but these guys are just, you know, they, they count just to make it sound more intimidating. I'm going to summon my hysteric fairy. Sure. Ah, oh, no, screw that. I'm a trapple. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to trap all that. That's reasonable, to say the least. Okay. Yeah, don't want to deal with that. That totally makes sense to me. I'm going to set one. Okay. And set two. And okay. then I'm going to pass. We will draw. Clock's ticking, buddy. Clock it's is ticking. ticking. It's ticking. Oh, man. I will set a card and... I think I'm going to go to the end of my turn. I'm going to pitch a castle of dark illusions. Go ahead. What in the world is happening? Okay, I will draw. And in my standby phase, I will gain 200 life points. I know it's very important. Just want to remind you guys. Okay. I mean, hey, game's not over yet. It's not over yet. I do have the card. Bait doll. Redrew the bait doll. Your deck is all bait dolls at this point. You better stop. You better stop setting traps. So it's got to be one of these two. Let's hope they're both traps. I'm going to go with this one. I will chain scapegoat. Ooh, okay. All Actually, right. no, I don't Dude, have to because yeah, it's not a trap. It's to, not a yeah, trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's so fine. So you know, it's you're going to learn that it's scapegoat from Bait Doll's effect. So okay, I will so reveal scapegoat. It goes to the grave now because it didn't, or does it go to? 
No, it happens. still goes to grave. Bait doll still. Right, it still shuffles into the deck. It still shuffles okay. into the deck. This card is insane. Okay. Um, let's shuffle that. I really wish I was playing more than one of those, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> um, you redrew it. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. That is true. This is a weird situation. All right, you have a you have two moth and grave. You have giant trune. That's kind of the big scare. Um, yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of things. You got two cyber jars. You probably have a third somehow. What are the odds? I have a third cyber jar. Come on. Ah, there. Uh, at this point, 100. Okay, I'm ending my turn. Go ahead. <laughs> Just passing, huh? All right, Just we'll passing. draw. Anything standby? Nothing. No trap. No shoot. Well, buddy, it's been fun. You don't have two giant true nade. Oh, I don't have I don't have a giant true nade for you. You don't have heavy storm. I don't have any heavy storm for you either. What card were you worried about me having set face down, buddy? Cy you don't have cyber jar. You're correct. I don't have cyber jar. Morphing jar. I oh. have the morphing <laughs> jar, baby. <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my god! First what a way all, to go. I'm screwed. Is there anything I can do here? I don't think. Is there anything you I, can do? I, I don't, don't know. Think, I don't think there's anything I can do here. Unbelievable! You pulled the ultra rare. But every I did time pull, you get tournament packs, you get the ultra rare. I pulled it in the second pack too. <laughs> oh my gosh! So draw. I don't even think I can do this because I four. Well, so you have to dis. Yeah, that's discard yeah. That's the, the point. entire hand. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. Well, so Morphing I, I, Jar just decks you at this point. Right, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think I can do anything. Okay, to grave. To grave. To grave. To grave. To grave. Get them all out. Get them all out. Okay. Let me draw. Oh. And I mean, I'll mill too, but I mean, the game's yeah. over. So, game <laughs> but I had the... Is Officially. Had the barrel dragon. There's an island turtle, a okay. spear cretin, another spear cretin. Yeah, uh, I, I did have the third yeah. magician of fate. <laughs> you, you're magician, magi mag magician's force, whatever they're called. No, magic ruler. They were insane. Metal raiders. Metal okay. raiders. Metal, yeah. Ma Basically, same ruler. thing. And though. magic ruler, though. Yeah. This is what I was waiting on. This was my only okay. way to win here. Okay, first okay. of all, I'm conceding. Um, but I'm waiting on this the whole game. Okay. Because my only way to win, besides Bait Doll saving me, is the Fire Princess. Right, because and with the Dark Lord Marie, you could have started burning me. I have Dark Lord me. Marie, I have a lot of stuff that gains me life points, but this was the only real strategy I could get into, was the Fire Princess thing. I only got one Fire Princess, I only got one Dark Lord Marie. Well, Fire Princess is a super, so that's yeah. not even super likely to come up. Well, yeah, the, the Dark Lord Marie was really the issue, because I, I couldn't get anything... So I had my monster reborn. I couldn't draw it the whole game because you destroyed this with Cyber Jar. Right. And I, it was like my only option at that point because with your Gravekeeper Servant, I knew if I build monster reborn, I just lost. Right. So yeah. I didn't really have the option to attack. Like it was, I could. I was just risky. So no, I, yeah, understandable. Waiting. Like it's it's a tough. I mean, you're, you're it's it's tough because you're in a rock in a hard place, right? Because right. You want to get super aggressive with servant up so that way I can you can kill me before I'm able to mill you. But if right. you mill like some of your best cards, then that kind of goes against you. One yeah. of the things that I felt worked to my advantage is that I know Labyrinth of Nightmare had a very wide selection of stall cards specifically that really yeah. slow the game down. And so yeah. I thought to myself, if I play this sort of mill strategy, because I pulled two cyber jar and one morphing jar, and with the three spear cretin on top of it, I only had one of this gravekeeper servant, but just that alone, I figured that was enough because of the lack of removal that can really take yeah. them out that I could just keep cycling them and essentially just force you to mill yourself. And because you had tournament pack three as well, I thought you might have a bunch of pot of greeds. So I thought yeah. you might draw yourself even deeper. And so at that point, I was like, OK, maybe this can actually work. Um, and it really just came down to if you could have just broken through like my wall and just like started yeah. getting aggressive, which you had a torrential, uh, you had a dark hole. So, I mean, you had some things that could yeah, potentially have stopped too the late loops. Is the problem. Right. And I had, I, I think the only removal for spell and trap I had was like D spell. I think it was it. Oh my so, God. So I could get rid of your board, like your, your monsters, but I couldn't touch your back row. And sure. you just played the one great keeper servant and almost completely shut me down. So I'm like, well, I have to go into this mini burn strategy I have, which is very hard to keep up when you keep destroying my board. Cause right. I need to have cure mermaid or I need to have one of those monsters in defense position that 
uh, that whatever that chick was called, the uh, the dancing fairy. I mean, right. And like keeping that in defense mode for more than like a turn is nearly impossible. Exactly. So, Exactly. I, it just never I, comes up. I was super. I, I was like, I don't think I have a chance in this one. And then when you pulled out this stuff, I was like, this is going to be really tough. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. And so that was like, that's why I was preemptively flipping spear cretins, because my logic was, is I wanted to make sure you didn't have the chance to torrential or dark hole while these were set. So yeah. I didn't mind losing life points on these spear cretins because as long as they resolved and as long as i had like a cyber jar or something in grave that's effectively like milling you for 10 because the cyber yeah. jar did it once already spear cretin gets it back we go for another 10 and just keep going yeah so that, that combo with cyber jar was crazy right so that's where i was thinking there is a bit of a mill strat here and uh i mean obviously th some things had to go right but i just know you had just a really good selection of battle tricks between mask of weakness and i uh like you know idealistically hysteric fairies and zombira the dark so it was really going to be hard for me to win combat a lot of the time yeah. so i figured just sci i tried uh not playing this game one and i actually did okay but then i thought once i saw some of the cards you were playing oh we could actually slow this game down to a crawl and that's yeah. where these jars can really start to take over plus with a witch and a sangen as well i can search the jars a lot quicker the jars are most likely going to get me into more jars once they start going so yeah. i figure it was worth the shot and it's risky too because i mean as you see i only have one card in deck so it was yeah. very close to not going that way if but, i played three bait doll i think i had a better chance but i only played the one well to be fair i actually played a 42 card deck specifically i don't know if you noticed yeah. because i actually didn't notice that yeah so i i purposefully did that because i thought if we get in the situation where we might come down to the wire having a few extra cards in my deck isn't the end of the world because right. then with searching and recruiting off of some of the cards in my deck i want to make sure that i'm more than likely going to have a higher card count than you and between you also having bait doll as well which was a card you could shuffle back offerings was stopping you from getting draws as well that was just all that together i really just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to happen yeah oh well i think it was a good set though i mean it was entertaining it was very entertaining at the very it, least it's not often it mill it, actually yeah. does you know something in any series that you ever That's see true, yeah so that was pretty cool to see. But I mean, your pulls were sick. I mean, you got a torrential. You got two dark elves, which is actually nuts. Uh, uh, well, those were TP3. I got three of those, actually. Oh, because it's TP3. The, I didn't the realize. The good cards in TP3 are dark elf and pot of greed. I only got two pot of greed, which is probably actually a good thing. But, um, <laughs> my diversity was so weird because I had 30 Labyrinth the Nightmare. And then other than that, it was like dark elf and pot of greed from turn of pack. Uh, three and then the 10 gave me almost nothing i think i got like toll out of it or right. something like that so i didn't pull much out of there and then um so it was like labyrinth the nightmare and then like the starter deck that was pretty much it interesting so, yeah i mean for me it was just the starter deck plus the uh the metal raiders and the magic ruler in place of the lon oh, packs so you had some pretty good stuff out of there though. oh i mean <laughs> yeah i mean i did get a second giant true nade i just never said anything oh but my God. my pulls were so good i got the true nade i got a black pendant which you didn't see i got a wow. snatch steel uh, the Maha Vilo is from the Joey deck, so that wasn't anything crazy. I yeah, ended up getting yeah. two Magician of Faith and a Witch from the uh, Metal Raiders packs. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, good. just overall, I mean, my pulls were pretty exceptional. I was pretty happy. Yeah, that's uh, when you get the, the three Magician, the three Cyber Jar. I mean, that works out pretty good <laughs> and then i had that barrel I, I i pulled two barrel dragon actually i didn't two. tell you and, I pulled and the bandit and so back to back like yep three ultra rares then no it's all uh seven tools was from the starter deck so oh, that, okay, that okay that was just a come um, no we didn't get that crazy yeah i got I actually, the barrel dragons back to back and so i actually was thinking okay if i pitch this to the grave off of like a morphing jar or a cyber jar or something then like then i can actually just reborn it and with three magician of faith i can keep resurrecting it that seems pretty good yeah. but uh that only didn't that actually didn't come to fruition at all kind of the first game but not too I, much i actually did pull one card of metal raiders my two packs okay I pulled the gate guardian <laughs> did you oh my god I, I i hate when you pull cards like that because it's so it's cool like, yeah. oh <laughs> yeah exactly it's very bittersweet very bittersweet but Good games, buddy. I think that was a lot of fun. And each one of these episodes is so unique with the card selection. Oh, yeah. I didn't tell you. Do you want to know what the Dungeon Dice Monster promo is? Okay, were? I'm dying to know what that is. I don't even have a guess. So there were actually no Dungeon Dice Monster promos in the English version of the game. Oh, no wonder I don't know. That's why I, that's exactly <laughs> what I said. So in the Japanese version of the game, there was evidently, and I already showed this on camera, three Dark Magician Girl promos. 
oh. that were all in that game. And so technically I had nine Dark Magician girls I could have played. Uh, spoiler, I played zero. Wait, but there were three, all three were Dark Magician girls? They were all different artworks Wait. of Dark, and they oh. didn't even look like actual Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They're oh, actually- I know this, what they are now. Yeah, They're now very I, like unique cards. I've never seen these they before. They kind of like is, Tops cards or something? Almost, right, they almost are like yeah. stickers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that, yeah, nine dark magician girls <laughs> that were useless. Glad I paid for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I paid a thousand at least on that. I did something right. Awful. I was thinking like, oh, is it widespread ruin or something? But I'm like, no, that's the Xbox game. So I'm yeah. like, maybe there's a good promo in one of these games, but no, we got we got bamboozled on that, that one. But it's funny. That was tricky for sure. It's funny though, because you know, that's one of the things I love about this series. It really tests our set knowledge for what we think is good and what isn't. And sometimes, you know, we think something is actually the correct move and it ends up being just absolutely wrong. Like, I don't know if you regret going 30 deep on Labyrinth and Nightmare, but. Oh, I regret it big time, for sure. <laughs> I mean, being committed all in on one set and it's like specifically good at some stuff and just awful at others and I can't cover it at right. all is. It doesn't feel good, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But we have next time, we have a brand new auction of items to go for. And so I can't wait to see what we got. Each episode brings something new and that's the fun of it. So guys, that's going to be the end of another episode. We hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to let us know down in the comments if you have any ideas for any special types of auctions you want to see, because there are so many different ideas that both Ruxin and I have, but we want to hear what you guys have to say as well. We have to shout the patrons as always. So big shouts to Shout1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Chaotic Meatball, and Gaoko, Tim Zero 0 x 3 like Iron Fang Part 2, Pony Starkey and Musa, Michael Dente, Dan the Manhoven, Synchro Guy, Ole, Mystic Walk, Sylvia Wilds, Drake Honic, Rock Slide, Dolly Wop, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Cole T, Thomas Nelson, Yusuf Asin 05, Jordan Coons, Kelvin, Iron Bladesman, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, True Nerdgasm, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Lumpy, Nehru Celeste, David Liu, Rockley 325, Lane Rogers, Silent Agent 216, I Side in Grand Maju and Salad, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Brett Harvey, John Two Base, Staff at the Astro, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Give Me Speed Raider, Give Me Death, MBT's Hard Leg, Ashlyn Jensen, Cyber P on Perp 6, TC Gaming, Matthew Brady, Edison Format, Ash Blossom, Toe Sniffer, that's a new one, Dr. Solace, Max, and Tom Russell. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.